In the heart of land, you were spirit to dance Back with the chance, our chance Wind down Wednesday, that's a wind the stress Freaky Friday vibe Hey guys, and welcome back to another channel. As you can see, <laughs> my hair is hairing, and it's looking how it's looking. What well, the case may be, but that's not why I'm here. I'm actually sitting in front of the front door, you know, because this is where the light is at, whatever. And, you know, I'm here thinking, I wanted to light me some wood up and i just want to just have a just a cleansing day by the door and just really you know have a moment now i saw a video and he's this guy said when you like stay sage or whatever you open up doors for spirits well people have their own belief or whatever so Whatever they believe in, that's them. So, when I light up, I like to cleanse. You know, you can use my belief, you can use sage for anything. Okay, as you can see, I'm about to run out. I'm about to run out. So, this is my little chanting bowl. My shell. I have a clock in here because time is always ticking. I have a clock. Time is always ticking. Um, I have a the thing that I have in here. Let me show you. I have a needle because I'm always sticking a bitch or somebody. <laughs> and I have a gold four four in here. So those are the things that I keep in here. But, you never know. People have their own reasons when they light up. When I light up, I'm lighting up for just, for me, and every now and then I might put a spell on somebody. Something good. You know, nothing bad. Wishing nothing bad, whatever, but, listen, ain't nothing bad came this way. Because the energy that I put out there is nothing but good energy. So, there's no room for darkness over here. Can't, won't, can't come in. That actually tastes kind of good. <laughs> well, Uncle Big Daddy don't think I'm smoking up in here, but I'm not really. I'm just kind of setting the tone by the door. I know him. Soup, you been smoking? No. Just like me some sage up of meditation. Meditation. Now, I thought I was going to be outside this summer. I thought I was going to be outside. I thought I was going to be doing a lot. But summertime, I get so hot. I mean, I could be outside. Don't get me wrong. But it'd be so hot outside. So, it's like, I don't want to come outside. Plus, I'd rather just work. I'd rather just work, work, work. And then when it's time to enjoy my money, I think I'll do just that. Because, listen, nothing is going nowhere. Everything is still going to be here. Even when I'm 100 years old, it's still going to be here. So, um, just enjoy the moment while I can. So that's all I'm doing. Enjoying the moment where I can, or whatever. So, um, yeah, I think I think this is gonna. Yeah, I would be probably doing. A, I probably will be going out. You know, a couple times here and there for some time, but probably not like that. Um, I'm a homebody. You know, my my bed is my comfort. My bed is my comfort zone. Like, I don't know why. You know, I would say ever since I started, well, ever, back then when I was going to high school, you know, you wake up, you ready to go to school, you got to get dressed, get up, like, oh, like, I don't want to get out of my bed. And then the weekend, the weekend, get here, you need to be in the bed all day. You won't. But the weekend, you really don't be in the bed all day. 
you know, on the weekend, you, you want to get up and get out. But it's like some Mondays, like I got to get ready for school and all that shit. But girl, damn days, I be like, ooh. I be taking long naps, sleeping longer. And then I have my days, I be like, okay, I'm ready to get up. I'm ready to do something. I'm ready to get some of myself going on. But today I woke up. Um, what time did I wake up? About 11 o'clock, yeah. Woke up about 11 o'clock. Because sometimes I don't want to sit in bed that long. Yeah, because sometimes I just don't want to lay up all day unless I'm laid up with a nigga. <laughs> unless I'm laid up with somebody. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I want to get out the bed and find something productive to do. I'm always pulling these little hairs out of my head. But this weekend, I will be hanging out with my friend. I'm going to walk the mountain. I'm going to walk the mountain, whatever. And... I think that's gonna be fun. I don't like this. I like this hair, but I don't like this hair because it dries up quickly. And when it dries up, it poof. so I have to keep it moist. I have to keep it real moist, especially the ends. But I like it for now. It'll do. I'm about to go back to straight hair, put in some straight hair, and eventually I'm gonna go back to set on my wigs or whatever. So one thing about it, honey. Time is always ticking. Your time is up when the time is up. It, it's just gonna tick. And for my other one is 444. Gold is always around me. That part. And to the highest power, God. Your universe. Smoke one or choke one. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just came over here just to really talk, you know. Get what's out of my head, whatever it is. Um, I woke up feeling good. I, was at, I mean, actually, I woke up feeling good. I mean, it's really, it's, today is not really a bad day. Today is actually a good day. It's just, you know, I got to find some productive. But uh, I think next week I'll be out this house. I'll be getting out the house. I won't be here. I won't be home for the 4th of July. So, but I'll be here for that following week because I got to go to work for, for a client. And um, I actually like doing that. It's good to have friends that put you on, real friends, um, that'll put you on to business and making money, because you can't call anybody your friend out here. And even though, yeah, <laughs> I only have a few of those, so... That's another story we'll talk about one day when the time is right. Because I have cut people off and just out. But some are bad, some are good, you know. I've cut some people off just in a good way. Because you can. You can cut people off out your life in a good way. And I've cut people off in a bad way. And still wish them well, you know. But um, I think where I'm at, where I'm at mentally, spiritually, I'm just... Like I say, I'm at peace, and that's all I want. Peace and happiness. Because sometimes you can lose your happiness. Sometimes you can lose your happiness. Sometimes you can you can you can gain that happiness back. Happiness don't stick around 24/7. It doesn't. It does. It does not stick around 24/7. Sometimes you lose it, and sometimes you'll find it. You just have to learn yourself. You're learning yourself. What makes you happy and what makes you don't. Happy don't stick around all the time, you know. And people are like, oh my God, I'm in my happiest place. Probably is, you know. Because right now, I am. I'm in, I'm in my happiest place right now, you know. And I realize I don't deal with a lot of people down there, so I'm kind of lonely. I'm lonely right now. But that's fine. Lonely's good. 
Sometimes you have to experience lonely. Sometimes you have to just be lonely by yourself. And a lot of people don't know how to be lonely by themselves. You know, they always feel like they have to have somebody or have a man. I need to be around, right? And sometimes I feel like that too, but at the end of the day, I think I enjoy being with me more than anything, you know? I enjoy being with you today, you know? Because we laugh and we cry together. <laughs> we do. But I think that's a part of me growing and looking inside of me. Looking inside myself. You know, so. Yeah. That's, that's me looking inside myself, so. And you can't tell everybody what you do. Don't tell your left hand what your right hand doing. Because they ain't your friend. Okay? Stay right. But you know, even when I'm going right, I'm a little curious about that left side. And I want to know what's going on over there. Because you got some people tell me, Lynn, don't, don't do that. And I'm saying like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going I'm to I'm do the right thing. And I'm just so curious to like, bitch, what's really going on over there? You know, like I'm, I want to explore that left side a little bit. I wouldn't be big if I didn't. But yeah, hey, it is what it is. With that being said, blessed be to whatever it is. Thank you for your services. Cooking with Lynn, it's a